If you want to find out how to turn these fire bricks into a rocket stove, you're watching the right video. Make sure to stick around, make sure to stick for the end because we're going to make sure to test these to see which design actually boils water the fastest. So stay tuned. Added the kettle and a thousand cc's of water, which I'll convert to uh, American. And we're going to boil half of that with one design and half of that with another design to see which burns the most efficient or the quickest. So let's start with the 16 brick rocket stove. It's the simplest design. You need 16 bricks and a half brick. And I'll show you how that is set up right now. This is the minimal 16 brick rocket stove. Make sure you've got a flat ground to work with. Some people even put down a layer so you can work off the ground. Because it's just sand and dirt here, I don't mind working on the ground. And But we could test both to see what makes the draft work more efficient. That's when the half brick comes in handy, and if you need to know how to do that, you can search up how to cut a brick in half, or watch the last video that I made about this. I didn't do it the best way, but there's more than one way to skin a cat, so... This does work, but let's see how much better this one does compared to the other ones you can build and of larger variety. Okay, so we got our kettle and some water. I've got a candle because I like to work smarter, not harder. I'm just going to light that and stick it in. I've stuck some sticks in here. Get it started first. So we got the fire cooking. We go ahead and add half of this. There we go, at least half. Let's see how long that takes. I'm gonna keep putting stuff in. Getting a lot of fuel. And I might have to shut this off because I can't film the entire time. It'll take up all my memory. But hopefully it happens quick. We can watch the timer. It's already been about 30 seconds or so. I guess we'll just film it. It shouldn't be too long. It's only 500 cc. Again, this is the 16 brick natural draft rocket stove. I just put two more small fire bricks just to give a gap. If you use a cooking grate, that will work as well, or some rocks, just to give it a bit of breathing space so it doesn't clog the, the furnace or the draft coming up. It's bubbling. It's been about a minute, so this is relatively quick so far. Just under two minutes. I'm going to save that for the next test. I'm going to try to make this a lot taller and see if that helps. I've had I've heard rumors that making it a bit taller can improve in, uh, efficiency, but like all things, we got to experiment to find out. So we're gonna do just that and find out exactly today whether the 16 brick versus a 32 brick or more 
actually matters to have the more bricks. So stay tuned to find out. We will have the conclusion very soon. Just over two minutes now. It's almost boiling. It's a very light wind today too, so that could be a factor. Uh, with some heavy winds, this could improve efficiency or speed to burn or boil your water. With a very light wind, this is uh, results. There you go, almost there. Just about three minutes. And if you're new here, make sure to subscribe. Give this a thumbs up. Try to help this channel reach more people. We're 100% off-grid, 100% powered by solar panels. So anything you guys can do to support this channel will help us improve our situation, improve the quality of our videos, improve our internet quality and bandwidth. We want to try to get satellite at some point. But, you know, if our channel does better over time, we'll have the funds to do that and bring you higher quality footage as well as be able to play with more interesting tech. But for now we're on about four minutes. It is right about to boil. So we can call that less than five minutes. About a minute per cc per hundred cc's, huh? Yeah, because we're we're just under five minutes and that's about to start whistling. I haven't put much in there either. There's not many sticks in there. This is why you want to use a rocket stove. You don't need much because it's the convex uh, current is ripping through here and going straight up. Doesn't need much wood. There we go. Almost right at the sort of five minute mark is pretty much whistling. Here we go. There you go. Pretty much five minutes bang on guys. So there you go, five minutes with a 16 brick. Now we're gonna try this again with a bigger one and see if that will be faster. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I've dumped out that water now. I'm gonna put in the other 500 and let that cool down while I build up the next version. Okay, I'm gonna raise this up a tiny bit, there we go. And get rid of these. See how that burns. Okay, so, test number two. This is the 32 brick rocket stove. We've added the same amount of water, 500 cc. I'm gonna stick that on top. See how long it takes to boil. But <clears throat> I'm gonna have to put some sticks in there first. The, the fire is small. I need to stoke it real quick. So the fire is going. I'm gonna put this on. And we can start the clock pretty much now. Let's see if we can beat five minutes. Same amount of water, this time twice as many bricks. If you stay tuned to the end, because we have a few more extra bricks, we can actually make this a little bit higher and try it one more time to see if size really does matter.
almost three minutes. It's starting to look like the simple 16 brick is just as effective so far. Could be wrong, it's about three and a half minutes. But ah, there we go, we got some bubbles. Can it beat five minutes? And even if it does at this point, it's you know a minute faster if it finishes soon, but for what it's worth, they seem to be just as efficient. If anything, this kind of helps you because you're not bent down as far. But again, we'll keep experimenting with the design. I've got enough of these, we can mess with them and see what can make water boil the fastest. What is the most efficient design? Yeah, we're at four minutes. It's not looking any any different. It's just taller. And it sounds like it's about to boil pretty much bang on five minutes, just like the other one. Yeah, we're closing in on five minutes. It's starting to sound like it's going to go. I think there you have it. We can call it five minutes again. So raising it has not mattered. That could be for a few reasons. Maybe the draft isn't in the right place. Maybe the wind isn't strong enough. Maybe that's just as fast as you can boil water. But it's pretty efficient and it's very hot. You could cook on this. You could do a lot of stuff on this. Depends on how many bricks you have. I picked these up for about 60 cents each at like the hardware shop. You buy them online, they're a lot of money because then you got to ship them. Don't buy and ship bricks to your house. Just go and visit somewhere and buy them cheap at the hardware shop. Please don't buy them online. Uh, they're really cheap. And grab at least 16 because you know that at actually 16 worked better than this. And one of the reasons might be because it's closer to the fire. I'm not sure, but this took about six minutes. So the 16 brick, just the minimum design, has worked better than the 32. There you have it. Okay, so like I promised, I'm going to put on the rest of these bricks. I think it's 44 in total. We'll try to keep count and see one last test if it matters or if it takes longer. So 32. 